consists of dedicated individuals from all over the world who could bring modern farm technology to this perfect setting. This is the purpose of Roydan Limited. Roydan attacks each project as it has its producing vegetable farm on the island nation of Antigua, located in the Leeward Islands, 1,200 miles southeast of Miami, Florida. Studies completed by Roydan experts indicated that Antigua was an ideal location for a large group of farms utilizing modern drip irrigation technology, which has been done very successfully in Israel and the United States. Antigua met every single parameter established for the success of such an operation, literally a high-tech growing factory which provides as high a yield and quality of produce as that grown anywhere else in the world today. From the development of studies and data, Roy Dan then packaged the financing of the project using a combination of corporate capital, investor capital, and funds borrowed from the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, an agency of the U.S. government. Then a master timetable was devised, which indicated this project could go from groundbreaking to harvesting and shipment of produce in less than six months. One million pounds, in fact, were shipped in the first two months of production. None of this could have been done without the cooperation of the government of the independent nation of Antigua and Barbuda. The advice and counsel of Prime Minister Veer Cornwall Bird, the senior statesman of the West Indies, and his Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Robin Yarwood, were invaluable. I feel it's an asset to the island of Antigua to have the company here. We in the government and in the Ministry of Agriculture look at this farm as the beginning of extensive farming operations in Antigua and Barbuda. Following the feasibility, financing, planning, and purchasing phases of the project, more than 20 40-foot containers loaded with all types of equipment were shipped en masse to Antigua. Even the shipping, receiving, and customs clearance procedures utilized new time-saving techniques developed by Roydan Season staff. The site selected for the Antigua Vegetable Farm is called Coconut Hall in the northeast part of the island where rainfall is barely more than 40 inches per year. Successful drip irrigation farming depends on total control of moisture reaching the plants. Therefore, the flat, lush soil of the Coconut Hall area was ideal for this venture. Nothing had been planted on this location for more than two decades, so the clearing process involved the removal of all growth of cassie bushes, a thorny plant which permeates Antigua's landscape. Because this plant was so entrenched in the soil, much of the work had to be done by hand. This clearing was followed by disking, harrowing, and much more handwork in the removal of stones, which are the natural residue of a volcanic island. While the clearing was being done, the basic infrastructure of the project was erected. This began with the rehabilitation of several containers into a variety of special uses a welding shop, a maintenance shop, a general store, offices, sleeping quarters, and storage areas for diesel fuel and chemicals. To accept water from seven wells drilled earlier, a large amount of earth was scooped out for the construction of a 10,000 cubic yard reservoir which was fully lined with plastic to prevent water loss. Water comes into this reservoir where it's filtered and treated several times before being pumped into the complicated drip irrigation system. Then fertilizer and necessary chemicals are mixed with the water through a special pumping system, ensuring that each plant gets the necessary moisture required. A two-acre greenhouse was built and starter plants for the first crops were activated, using seeds for the plants and varieties specified by our European brokers. The method of transplanting from the greenhouse directly to the field ensures growth of only the best and strongest plants. Also, it gives the farm manager the ability to react to problems in the field by plowing under and replanting immediately. From a marketing standpoint, the greenhouse also enables Roy Dan to be able to react to additional demands from our brokers in Europe, cutting the normal growing time in half. The initial production area covers 200 acres. Considering the perfect climatic conditions of Antigua, this means that this area will be yielding three crops per year, a total of 600 acres. 
As mentioned earlier, the water comes to the farmsite reservoir from wells drilled nearby. The level of salinity in each of these wells will vary, and that is good, as it permits a mixing of the waters in the reservoir prior to being pumped through the filtration system. Some crops, such as melons, actually require higher levels of salinity in the water to produce a higher percentage of sugar in the mature fruit. Complete control of the water is a key feature in the overall Roydan technique. Before the water goes into the submains of the system, it is filtered as many as three times to ensure that the water reaching the laterals and dripping lines in the rows of plants is clear and clean, eliminating the possibility of clogging in the dripping heads themselves. In the fields, all the beds are covered with a specially treated plastic. This conserves water, makes weeding almost unnecessary, and reduces the amount of coverage required for pesticides and other chemicals. A variety of the most modern tractors and implements was selected and purchased specifically for this project in the United States. Maintenance of equipment is critical in any project, but it's especially critical in the West Indies. The farm workshop at the Antigua farm can provide 90% of the services required in the field, and it's towed by a tractor. While the farm manager is a 20-year veteran in high-tech agriculture, and his three assistants all have international expertise, the balance of his staff was hired and trained from the Antigua workforce. The farm manager lives on the premises and gets regular computerized data detailing the growing cost per acre for each crop. After the small plants have been transplanted into the plastic covered beds, they're protected from the static 20 knot wind that is characteristic of the Antigua Plains until they begin reacting to the intensive combination of water fertilizer and nutrients pumped through the drip irrigation system. Thanks again to the computer guided methodology, the date of harvesting is known on the actual date of the transplanting into the covered beds. The constant tropical weather offers ideal growth conditions with a minimum of risk during the final growing process of each crop. Whether it's green beans, any of three different types of melons, or other traditional crops such as green peppers or zucchini, each variety gets the special treatment and nourishment necessary to provide the maximum yield of top quality product as picking time approaches. Also in the farm complex is a modern packing and grading facility, which features the most modern equipment available in the world today. The facility totals 20,000 square feet, including a cooling plant. Once the produce arrives in the plant, it is weighed, grated, and packed. The packaging is accomplished to the specifications provided earlier by Roydan's brokers, whose orders also determine the planting cycle for each item planted. Packaging for the European market is much more complex than that done for other markets, requiring special handling and special equipment. Although the longer shelf life of most types of melons enables them to be shipped by sea, the majority of Roy Dan's produce leaves from Antigua's modern international jet port for the European market. Regular non-stop overnight flights from Antigua to London make the elapsed time from harvesting to shelf display as short and efficient as any in the world today. The new Antigua's Delight label will be seen and displayed proudly by greengrocers in England, France, the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, and other countries which have an endless demand for top quality produce. At full production on as many as three sites, Roydan can simply not meet the existing demand for its products. Therefore, as part of the original program designed in concert with the Antigua government, the local farmer will have access to Roydan's technology and nutrients. The technology for free, the nutrients and fertilizer at Roydan's cost. This will mean the local farmer can work to improve his yields and quality using Roydan's proven technology, a technology that will soon include the addition of a modern cannery and the manufacture on the island of drip irrigation tubing. While it would be impossible for the individual local farmer to spend large amounts on such a project, it is realistic to expect them to provide smaller tonnages of specific crops on a regular basis. This will, over time, enable Roy Dan to provide a greater amount of product to its brokers of the combined basket needed in the European market. 
Also, Roydan has buyers in the United States requiring product from Antigua. Everything grown in Antigua will be exported, whether produced by Roydan or by local growers under contract to Roydan, at the top prevailing prices at that time in the marketplace. The Antigua project typifies Roydan's approach in executing agricultural projects in the West Indies. The molding together a perfect climate with 365 growing days per year with no energy costs for cooling or heating. A marketplace hungry for quality items available on a year-round basis. A workforce steeped in agricultural tradition. The application of the most modern technology available in the world today by a team which can best utilize this technology in the West Indies. America's breadbasket of the 21st century. Meet Roydan Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Maurice Sarfati, whose years of experience in commercial aviation, big agricultural management, and international marketing enables him to make the Roydan concept a reality. I hope the presentation you've just seen gives you an idea of what uh, Roydan is all about. Uh, I am very encouraged. There'll be long days and hours of planning and uh, thoughts put into that project have proved our vision right. Let me give you two reasons why primarily we have chosen Antigua to be the stepstone of our first projects in the Caribbean. First, uh, the perfect climatic conditions that we have here, we have got the possibility of an all year round uh, uh, planting. The second one is the perfect logistics as you well know, uh, Antigua is in, at the crossroad of the Leeward Island. Encouraged by the results of the last season, we feel now we have got uh, an excellent uh, foundation from where we can go ahead and expand. And what's what um, we have uh, decided and we are planning to do. And we welcome you to join us.